Question number four. Near the beginning of your book, you mentioned that if anything, a childhood growing up without parents and moving constantly taught me independence, self-reliance, and adaptability. Do you feel like the qualities you now possess are what motivated you to believe you could travel around the world by bike? And do you believe that choosing to do it on a bike had a symbolic or subconscious meaning? Uh, I think the qualities that I possess or that I got from my childhood growing up in certain uh, difficult um, environment uh, maybe not motivated me to believe I could travel around the world, but maybe it made it less daunting an idea than someone who has had a traditional upbringing and um, has not had the same level of struggle growing up. Um, I grew up around the world, so going around the world again was not like such a crazy idea to me um, as it would be maybe to someone who hasn't traveled at all. So yeah, it was less about motivating me as I think it just was, was a natural progression. It it certainly gave me um, the tools I needed to to make, yeah, to, to do it. I, I think that certainly helped and, and probably I had a head start um, above others on that, you know, like, I've already been there, I've done that, and you know, what's the level of difficulty that what could possibly go wrong uh, didn't scare me as much maybe as it would someone else. So, um, doing it on a bike was so random. I think it was it was just an idea put in my head, and why a bicycle I couldn't tell you, but it you know I fell into it by accident and discovered a passion. So. Uh, and that's why I say I wonder how much we are able to do that we don't know because we wouldn't even imagine, you know, trying it out. It wouldn't even cross our minds. Certainly riding a bike never really crossed my mind or riding a bike around the world. It's even more outlandish. Um, I could have ran around the world. I could have, you know, kayaked around the world, but it happened to be a bicycle. And from that, you know, I, I became passionate about cycling. So um, lucky me. <laughs> Um, but, you know, the bicycle does have a, have a symbolic meaning for women. It's always been a symbol of emancipation for women. So I suppose, although I didn't intend for it to be that way, it certainly was a form of emancipation for me. So it was very fitting in that case.